Hi, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Save Mama, Let's Save Mama.com, and I'm making some little videos tonight using the home test kit um, that people are buying. And one thing I want to let people know this is a Chinese knockoff of an American company. The formulation on these is, is not effective, it comes up with false positives and false negatives. Um, so it's really effectively the same as taking your money and throwing it in the trash. And I'm going to show you uh, testing a couple of things with an XRF instrument and the test results using this test kit. Um, these are, again, the knockoff ones, the, the larger package with 60 in a package. So you get 60 units of nothingness by buying this. So I'm going to just rotate my camera here. And what I'm going to show you here is... Um, this is a little toy car. It's a Hot Wheels car. It has a 2009 date on the bottom, I believe. And when we test it using XRF technology, let's see, it's a little slippery. Let's see, I'm gonna do it like this. And I use this wooden cutting board as a background so that I um, know that I'm testing with a lead-free background in, in, behind it. And just a quick test of this shows me that it is non-detect for lead, non-detect for cadmium, and without the screen full of the material, it is 681,000 parts per million zinc. I don't know if you, how well you can see that. Let's see. I'm going to give you another I'm put it on the black band. The black band shows you it's 681,000 parts per million zinc and it is lead free. So we have this known lead free toy, um, Matchbox car, which I get questions about a lot. I have, you know, I have a whole posse of Matchbox cars here. These are all lead free. Um, there is not an issue with Matchbox cars having lead unless they have the rubbery wheels. Those can have lead and cadmium, but if they have the hard plastic wheels, that means they're the newer type that tend to be completely lead free. Some from the 70s have some plastic components. This is not an example of one from the 70s, it's just an example of one of the plastic component where the upper plastic component has lead and or cadmium, but that's only an issue with ones from the 70s and before, and again, they would have the rubber wheels. So if you have hard plastic wheels, and a newer date of production, especially if you know you purchased them new after 2011, they are lead-free. And this is a lead-free, tested by me just now, um, Matchbox car. And we're going to take one of these lead test swabs that are faulty, don't work under any circumstances, don't use them, don't buy them, don't waste your money. And we're going to dip it as you are supposed to do and that is in white vinegar um, and it's you can see the yellow it's yellow against the white background there and we're going to it's supposed to if it turns red along these, this color spectrum it's supposed to have lead even if it doesn't turn lead it's supposed to not have lead right so we're testing this with this swab that we just confirmed that it is lead free and what are we seeing? Super bright pink. Unmistakable, like, oh my God, this must be really high lead. But no, it's not. This is bogus. These don't work. This is a lead-free toy car. So again, these are bogus. They don't work. This is a lead-free toy car with a zinc substrate. I showed you the XRF testing. And this is what it looks like when you use one of these bogus test kits to test a lead-free toy car. These are not to be used. You must stop using them. We need to get Amazon to stop selling them. They don't work. They are a waste of your money. Thanks for tuning in. And learn more at letsafemama.com.